Welcome back. Thank you for staying with KTN Prime. Let's focus on the party primaries and the Jubilee nominations in Kericho County, yielding an unprecedented outcome when Kipchebor Ward residents voted a former watchman to battle it out in the August polls for a seat as a member of the county assembly. Here now is his story. Residents of Kipchebor Ward surprised many seasoned local politicians when they nominated Eric Bett, a watchman, to fly the Jubilee party flag for the award come the August 8th polls. They wanted to change, and uh, change was uh, imminent for them. So, but now it were many people, it were 11 contestants. Until his nomination, Eric Bett, famously known as the watchman, was a guard with the security firm G4S, Kericho branch. When you even get lost in town, you normally think of a watchman because you are safe. You think he will not lie to you. Mm -hmm. Number two, a watchman is somebody who is reliable, he's entrusted, he's mm -hmm. given, he's in charge of resources. So when a watchman is uh, in your way, you hire a watchman to take care of your home. The watchman reckons he clinched the ticket because residents of Kipchabor Ward were tired of what they term as unfulfilled promises and joblessness among the youth. Like you say, there were big grades, there were people who had a lot of resources in terms of uh, doing the campaign. And so the people chose a leader whom they can access, leader whom they believe in in terms of ideas. And I think I was that leader. The 32-year-old watchman believes he is best suited for the job come August 2017, as he would watch over the county's resources, just as he had as a watchman. Uh, you need a steward, a watchman. Uh, to take care of the county resources. Mrs. Watchman Pamela Bett is a happy wife, a woman behind a successful man. He didn't spend a lot of money in that campaign. Okay, he was actually loved. The watchman's promise to the people of Kipchebor, Kericho County, is clear. The first one month in the office, I would want to sit down with the people in every village, in every corner, and agree with them what needs to be sorted first, and then I start fixing them. This business administration graduate from USIU hopes to floor his competitors and earn a seat at the Kericho County Assembly. Okay, we wish him well in the Kericho County and with just about two more constituencies to go before the results of the Jubilee nominations are formally announced. Jubilee sat party supporters, of course, in Nairobi County are holding their breath as they wait for that critical announcement. Nick Wamboa is covering that for us. Nick, good afternoon. Good to speak to you. We've just heard from Johnson Sakaja and Mike Sonko just urging their supporters and indeed other aspirants to be calm as they wait for the final results. What sort of numbers are you seeing where you are? Thank you very much, Linda, and uh, good evening to you. Uh, we are live from the Nyayo National Stadium, where it is the central tallying center for Nairobi County Jubilee uh, primaries. And here, uh, Mike Bovi Sonko, uh, the current Nairobi senator, and uh, Johnson Sakaja Aina Ali leader, where we, are, where we have uh, uh, 15 uh, constituency, uh, constitu constituencies so far out of the 17 constituencies in the county. And uh, with these two then, uh, Linda, you'll just allow me to read the results um, so far in the 15 uh, constituencies. And uh, in the governor's position, whereby we have uh, the three, the top three, uh, that is uh, the three candidates we have, where we have uh, Mike Mbovi Sonko currently leading with 119,756 votes followed by Peter Kenneth with 51,000 votes, uh, 770. Uh, Margaret Wanjiru comes third with 10,109. In the senator's position, uh, we have uh, Johnson Sakaja with 106,469 uh, votes. Uh, Kavemba Mutinda with 10,729 votes, while that in the Senate position comes Badi Ali with 9,079 votes. In the women representative um, uh, position, whereby we have um, uh, Rachel Shebish with 61,445 uh, votes, with uh, Omanga coming second with 39,000 votes, 634. And in the, that position, uh, we have uh, Nyamu with 28,502. So, Linda, uh, here we have uh, three candidates uh, who are leading in the 
three positions, Mike Mbobi, Songo, Johnson, Sakaja, and uh, Rachel Shebesh. So uh, right here, it, is, it has been peaceful since morning as we have been following this exercise. And I'm going to talk to one of the aspirants, the Senate aspirants, we have, that is uh, Mushiri, Mitamo Mushiri, who is going to tell us uh, what uh, he has experienced throughout the whole process. Mr. Mushiri, since the exercise started, how do you feel? Is it fair, uh, cred uh, credible? What is your feeling about it? In my view, I believe the process, uh, I do not want to use the word in our, con in our Kenyan context, uh, but the process was free and fair in my view. Although there were some anomalies, some, some irregularities here and there, I can only say that uh, the very irregularities didn't meet the legal threshold that would warrant any, any repeat of uh, um, rather the nomination in a repeat of the process. I believe what we need to do now is to accept the, the results and move on. You are running for the Senate position, but you are nowhere to be seen in the three positions. That is number one up to number three. Uh, are you feeling, or uh, what is your feeling? Uh, are you going to concede defeat in this uh, in, in this case? A while ago, I remember on this uh, particular station, I did concede defeat. I vowed, I committed to support the winner. I agreed that we work together now to strengthen uh, the vehicle. Uh, the political vehicle, the jubilee political vehicle that will steer uh, forward uh, the campaigns uh, for Nairobi so that we can uh, win even in August. Uh, otherwise, if we don't unite, uh, we may lose in August. That will be unfortunate. And earlier today, we, we saw Rachel Shebesh coming here with claims that there could be rigging in this particular, uh, uh, in this particular station, where this is a central uh, station. Uh, for counting the votes for the Jubilee nominations. Uh, what is the feeling about it? Do you feel uh, like, uh, like, like um, uh, she was being, uh, like, uh, what is the problem, actually, uh, just to talk about Rachel Shebesh in this case? Shebesh, I was in this particular place when she stormed in, and I can say it is regrettable. It is not uh, proper. Uh, much as I agree that she was aggrieved, uh, this this was not the best channel to, to air her grievances. We have got uh, the best channels, the, the legal channels, where an aspirant, once aggrieved, you air your grievances uh, through. There is the Jubilee headquarters. We have the political parties uh, tribunal. Uh, we also have a tribunal at the Jubilee headquarters. So I do not think Rachel was uh, in order to come to this place to complain. She should have gone to the Jubilee headquarters where her issues would have been uh, settled, in my view. Uh, so far, we have two, uh, two constituencies that are remaining that uh, we are to get the results for the two constituencies. How long do you, t do you feel like it is going to take tonight so that we get the results? Uh, Nick, what we are getting here is, I don't want to use the word suckers. I see something that doesn't add up. I'm trying to figure out how some results from five kilometers down here in Embakasi have not arrived at this uh, place since yesterday. 24 hours, we have not uh, received results uh, from a distance of five kilometers. It is unfortunate. I think uh, we needed to do better on that side. It's unfortunate, I must repeat, that we have not concluded this process, even as at now, 24 hours later. Uh, right now, I am being told here by the RAO that uh, we still have got two more constituencies uh, whose materials have not arrived here yet. Uh, now, that becomes uh, ridiculous. What I know is that um, uh, if they won't stop, then they shall have concluded that process by hopefully 12 noon, or rather 12 midnight. That is it. Thank you very much, Mr. Mushiri. He has considered defeat. Uh, that is the second time that he's doing so. Uh, so, uh, Linda, that is the situation. We are waiting for two more uh, constituencies to arrive here, or the results uh, rather to be uh, to be brought to this place. And therefore, we are going to give the total tallying uh, that is for the 17 constituencies. And Linda, just for your information, in Surrey constituency, whereby it is alleged that uh, the two, uh, that is for the MP position, then. Uh, through communication from the Jubilee Party, it is that um, say that uh, nobody or the National Elections Board has no power whatsoever to cancel the elections, and therefore that now remains, or uh, that now remains with, uh, with the power now remains with the, uh, the the appeals committee of the party. So so far, uh, Linda, 
uh, we have no elections cancelled in Starehe constituency. Back to you, Linda. Interesting, because we heard from the Secretary General of Jubilee Party, Rafael Tuju, announcing that uh, the highly contested primaries in Stare constituency had been cancelled. So let's see how exactly this plays out um, um, as the hours progress. Nick Wambua for us at Nyayo Stadium. Nick, thank you very much. You're watching KTN Prime. Thank you for staying with us. Remember, our big question tonight focuses uh, on the opposition's flag bearer. They have settled on Rai Laudinga and Kalonzo Musioka ticket. So we're asking you, if you think this is the best combination to send uh, Jubilee parties uh, Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto home. And uh, it's very interesting because there's a lot of feedback here. Joseph Njagi says the best team that would have put a tough fight on Huruto would have been Musalia and Kalonzo with uh, Rai Laudinga's support. Caleb Cheroyot says, um, okay, let's see if I can get something else. Uh, Alan Denny says, yes, with the current state of economy, NASA offers an opportunity to redeem themselves. At Nyamora says... Yes, based on experience and the popularity, that's the best combination to ensure Uhuru's exit. Let's see how it plays out um, as we head towards the general election. Thank you for staying with KTN Prime. Let's take a breather. We'll be back. The most common trigger.